2014. Still ahead this morning. So here's a question. What do you get your little gamer who has everything? More games, they would say, right? We're asking the expert what games you should put under your Christmas tree this year. We have a special treat. He is known as the world's best gamer. Athena is with us today and ready to give his top 10 list of the games you should be playing in 2014. Athena, I'm looking forward to this list. Let's start with the top five that you would pay money to play. What do you have for us? Minecraft is a really good game. It's one of the most successful games in the world right now, and uh, it's basically Lego on steroids. Uh, wow, I like that. Yeah, like children love it. Uh, they uh -huh. can play it so much, it's amazing. You also have Gone Home. Mm -hmm. um, Gone Home is the number one, uh, like seen as one of the best games of this year. And uh, yeah, basically you just start in and uh, yeah, you don't know what to expect. And that's why that game is uh, yeah, seen as, uh, as, as amazing. That one Great looks fascinating. Reviews. What's the age range for a lot of these? Like Gone Home and Gone Home has uh, is good for all age ranges okay. and same with Minecraft. If you want, uh, yeah, basically the list that I wrote here. And is, Tomb Raider, you have that on as well? Yes, Tomb Raider as well. Mm -hmm. um, Tomb Raider is also seen as one of the best games. Most people know Tomb Raider as yeah. well. Um, I also want to add that those all the devs that I'm actually mentioning are supporting Gaming for Good and, and oh, are good. giving those games. And you can actually get them for free by donating to charity. So that is, that is really I amazing. I like that. Yeah. That's really a win-win, <laughs> literally. Tell us about Saints Row 4. Saints Row 4 actually... Uh, makes fun of GTA 5. It's it's basically uh, the kind of game that yeah that just took the same like a similar concept and it's just uh, yeah uh, having a good laugh with it. So it's it's really cool. It's a really cool game. It's a very popular game as well. And uh, at the same time, like uh, for people that want to play FPS, uh, I know FPS shooters are very popular as well. Shoot Mania uh -huh. is is also a really good uh, choice because. Um, yeah, there's not like it's also very family friendly, not that much violence. And uh, yeah, like if you really like a, a FPS shooter and you want to give it to your kids, this is a really good choice. As being a famous gamer, uh, what's the number one question you get? Kind of how to play certain games? <laughs> uh, a lot of people ask me, how do I get, how do I become a professional gamer and how do I turn it into a living? Um, and, and what do you uh, tell them? What's the secret? I always tell them, like, um, have a passion for gaming, but don't uh, don't give up on your studies or uh, keep doing your education because yeah. it don't is a quit very your day job. Yes, <laughs> <Right>? indeed. <laughs> All right, let's go to the free games here. Uh, you start with your list. League of Legends. Tell us about that. Yeah, League of Legends is by far the most popular free-to-play game. Mm -hmm. um, just to give you a little, uh, yeah, a, a little numbers. There mm -hmm. was a tournament this year. You could the top team could win more than a million dollars. It's, wow. it's uh, very competitive. Uh, Esports is blowing up because of e uh, League of Legends. And it's a free-to-play game. You can just go mm -hmm. and play it for free. You also have Dota 2, which is very similar to League of uh -huh. Legends. They and call the, it like... Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It's like the, the MOBA. It's, it's, they call it the MOBA genre. Uh -huh. And it's very successful uh, in the, uh, in the, on, as free-to-play. So Dota 2 is, is similar to League of Legends. Uh -huh. And um, is a bit uh, is a bit more hardcore. Okay, and the and final then, three, it's Hearthstone. Is it Smite and Path of Exile? What's your favorite yes. out of those three? <laughs> um, <Gotta pick. laughs> oh, that's really hard. Put you I, on the spot. I would say I would say that Hearthstone is uh, is really awesome when you just want to chill, when you want to put more time and effort. Path of Exile is something where you can really lose yourself more. But Hearthstone is definitely a, an amazing card game that you could really play in between um, so yeah I would I would go for that but again kids at home don't quit your studies to do what Athene does thanks so much <laughs> for being with us appreciate it thank you